you gotta make music that you're feeling from your heart. You know, do you wanna do this? Are you doing this just for money or are you doing it for the love of it, man? Because I'm doing it for the love of it, that's why I'm still here. So you know the story goes. So this is my destiny, power divine it invest in me. Got a lot of love and interest in me. It was endless partying, man, trust me, man. When people keep testing me, police always This is like the chronology here, man, of the, the history of an MC. Yo, man, as a sufferer, this is the greatness. Get me understand this, a life is a great test. Papa Jai boss, and mama a weird dress. Me and the first son, and I'm determined to make it. 14. Right here in Wolfenstow Century, you know what I mean? Down there, just a bit further down there, like over the back there, is Wolfenstow Market. And I used to work down there, and there was an amusements arcade down there called North. So I used to go in there all the while. There was a guy in there called Vince. And he taught me how to play pinball and pool. He never knew my name. He just used to call me Specky and it kind of stuck, you know what I'm saying? And like when my school friends heard that everybody was calling me Specky, they was pissing themselves laughing. Like what kind of stupid name is that? But you know what I mean? He ended up Specky Ranks, you know what I mean? Got beat by and I ended up on Unity and kind of blew, you know what I'm saying? So. Yeah man, that's how that's how I got the name Specky. Yeah man, this is Tottenham, you know what I mean? This is my real manner, man. This is where I like grew up from like I was 16 years of age. Right now we're on the corner of Seven Sisters. And this is the first place where I ever went to a reggae dance hall session. My first kind of teacher, vocal teacher. Like even though I could chat, you know, you still needed that guidance from the elders. It was a man called Roland, Festus Irie, big up Roland, my brethren. Yeah? General in other business. When I first used to go on there, I used to be on some kind of some Burubantan kind of a vibe, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Me long, me chang, me have ambition, me we have about a quarter and 55 ton. And them, them sort of kind of vibes. Um, but then he kind of, you know what I mean, came with this kind of briggy kind of a style, you know, and other things, you know what I mean? Nobody come about ya. And them type of vibes. And that's what Roland taught me how to do, man. Festa Sairi. Used to be a real community thing, you know what I'm saying? People used to really stick together and, and follow their sound and support their sound. That's how it was back in the 80s, man. It was a real nice time, trust me. Oh my God, man. This is... Man, Jungle Youth, man, from back in the days, man, on Broadwater Farm, when we all used to be chatting sounds together. And he knows about my history, you know what I'm saying? We grow together at certain levels, man, from back in the day. 80s, man. All of them, man, there's enough, man, enough of the man right now that's coming up. I most probably know their mums and dads. Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Man, if there was no such thing as music, Tottenham would have invented it, believe me. Go down. This, was, this is Broadwater Farm, man. This is my ends. I lived on this estate for 10 years of my life throughout the 80s, man. From 85 to 95, I lived on this estate. Right, right. Come along. Whoa, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Right now, this is my block. This is my original block when I used to live on the farm on Broadwater Farm. Man, Debden. I lived at number 87. Over there is the ends, man. This is the farm, man. It was dark in times. In 1985, yeah, that was the year of the riot. I moved there two months before that. These whole streets were just glass when I woke up the next morning. And out of this hell, you know, we made something happen. We went out there, we spread that message to the world, made this music thing, you know, that was my hope. That was my, you know what I mean, that was my dream, man. All, we all come from here, man, all of us, man. Boardwater Farm. You see it? Hey, remember Sanjino, Broadwater Farm, real time of a brick stand. You used to come and you used to put an intelligent edge. You had this lyric, you used to have this, uh, I can't remember, lyric standard and lyric construction. Yeah, something so like that, yeah. Navigator full of navigation. And you had some proper lyrics. And, and you know, we used to always have our little our little Walkmans with record on it, and yeah, just yeah, hold it like that yeah, and record yeah. it. The roughest sounding recording you'd ever have. But when you go back afterwards, days later, it was always specky, navigators. That, those lyrics were heavy, those lyrics were heavy. <laughs> Me inspired a lot of other people. Inspired Respect, a lot of people. man. Respect, nice, man. man. A lot of other people. You brought intelligence into lyrics, man. A lot of intelligence into lyrics. <laughs> 
French bread is from the it's from the neighborhood. You get me? Born and bred group. And he, he went out there and done his thing. You know what I'm saying? He represented. And we love him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See? Long time, man. Right? He's yes. always welcome, guys. This is his home. Yeah, man. You don't know. Yeah. Long time, long time. <laughs> 1985-1986 was when I acquired the name Navigator. Before I was just known as Specky Rankin. So it was Roy Ranks the teacher, Dima Rock as the lyrics poet, Flinty Rankin the badness educator, and me as the last man joining the sound I had to have my little the and mine became Specky Ranks the navigator. You know what I'm saying? But Unity was a big sound and in 1987, we basically was running it, seriously. You know what I mean? Ten years ago. Click. We done run the circuit and it was fantastic. Uh, 88, we win best sound. Me realize me could not go no further, so me step down. Take a trip across the Atlantic. Try go watch your makeup, they find me everything jam. From the minute, me touch down. Me see the signs that my life have got changed. We smack a land with a brand new plan. New inspiration, I completely change man then. God bless me with the opportunity to go to university, for learn to make jewelry. Yeah. Meanwhile, me that chat pan read you be ever in a studio be repetition start grow yo 93 was a good year be coming in really start to get no no what's going on mm. yes yeah, everybody looks like I've got bright lights see if we can see the age marks and <laughs> <laughs> wrinkles, and wrinkles and poor Joe mm -hmm. you're such a poor soul aren't you? There's nothing I still there. love you I still love you bro yeah I mean basically I was in Jamaica for like six months and yeah, I came back to England, knew that I had to make some different moves. I wanted to leave sound systems. It wasn't really working out for me the way how I wanted it to work out. So when I was in Jamaica and I saw them guys doing it live on stage and live on sound systems, it was just a different level, you know? And I just knew that there was that wasn't my origination. That was my schooling, but it wasn't my origination. My origination was in London with that flavor, that heritage, Jamaican heritage. So therefore I had to somehow try to cross my UK roots and my Jamaican roots together and make music that would be viable to a UK public where we could build our own fan base for what we did as individual artists. And within that period of time while I was looking, I decided to go into something which was the jewellery. I, I, by luck, had broken a, one of my safety chains on my bracelets and uh, my ex-girlfriend said, yeah, my dad does jewellery. And uh, she brought me down to the workshop and that's when I met Mick Winston over there. <laughs> I mean, I tell you what, Monday, yeah? I was on my way down to the workshop. And this is my speciality back in the day. I used to be the, I used to be the man that used to cut out all the little, all the little cut out stuff, yeah? Yeah. Right. So basically, this is, I forgot, what's the name of these swords again? Piercing frame, this is a piercing frame. He's a, uh, he's a nice fella and he was key. And there you go. And we like that. We like that, we like people that are key. A lot of energy, right, John? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Used to tire me just watching you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you still got it. Yeah, and I'm yeah. jealous. <laughs> That's why you bring out the best in me. When people keep testing me, police always arresting me. Wanna see me lock up in a penitentiary. Still be happy for it to survive. Yo! I'm gonna go see one of my other godfathers. A gentleman called Ted. I was working a lot with Ted, I was renting a bench from him and at the same time as learning jewellery I had my eye on the market, you know. But you see he was born for music so this is why he can't stop. So no matter obstacles in the way, you'll always be heading back onto the music. And then all of a sudden I hear this track called We Are E. Yeah, and I hear this B line, and it's just like, do, 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 and I'm like, yeah, that's a proper B line now. You know what I'm saying? And that was a point when I was like, yeah, that's what I want to spit over. You know, and this is like '91 here, so this is this two years before Jungle actually really got established, but that was the sound, and that was when I um, decided that that's the sound that I liked out of all of the rave music that I was hearing, because most of it was just bleeps, you know, and I wasn't really into that. I didn't, I didn't identify with it because I came from drum and bass, B line and drums, you know, 
which is what reggae music essentially is, and that's mm -hmm. what dub was, do you know what I'm saying? So, you know, there wasn't a lot of people showing me love at that time. And what presented itself was Cool FM. Cool FM, the pirate station. This was 93. And I was already listening to Cool FM and had been down there a couple of times, but it's just like I just sort of made this decision, and I remember the month, it was May 1993, and that was the first time when I decided, right, I'm going to become so a regular. Did you and Mampi Swift start playing together? That's right, that exactly. We got on the so station. Came together. Yeah, we came, we came on the station about the same time. Blew up in that and we just blew up. And I blew up in like about three months. It was three months because from May to like August. And then by August, everyone was talking. It's the truth, man. <laughs> Man, it was intense, that's all I can yeah, say. It was well, intense. wanted to be a part of it on a Friday night, didn't it? <laughs> when he was going, when he was going out, uh, when the drunk was singing, and I went down and watched him, and I see all this energy he had to be uh, given. I looked at him, he was like a tall, like skinny, like concave chest. This is what I used to know. So he's, he's got concave chest. <laughs> One day he was working away, just like that. Was, I think it could be even the same day, because it was winding up that day. And I look at him, his chest is all turned, you know. And, Oh what, Ray? Why don't you give me that concave chest and you go down to the gym? All of a sudden, I started loving it. Couldn't stop every day. Sometimes five days a week. Chin ups, you know what I'm saying? Like chin ups. I couldn't. The first time I went up on the barn, I went like that. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. By the time I done with that, I was gonna be three sets of ten. Three sets of ten. <laughs> Your boy. <laughs> to me. Don't know. Don't know. Three sets of ten. Three sets of ten, man. That's that what can't leave. <laughs> True, man. Man live, but all of them can't blow a breath And I wonder why man vex, and the utmost disrespect Why the mind of man and woman can't conceive and believe That the mind of woman and man can't let you all leave your chief And if you don't get lit down, or you better pick yourself up Can't get out of the killing field, it's not no time for nobody can judge me Cause we are all equal in just like only the father can judge me Some is telling what the man go thinking and get some foresight They can't hold me So why you want to contest me? Oh yeah, yeah. When I'm here, try to do is just to live up right. This is Navigator, yeah, live and direct in London City, yeah, big enough beat culture, London. This is what we do all day, every day, music. We make beats, we spit rhymes, we write bars. Be culture, that's what London actually represents.